today I'm just going to show you some of my favorite healthy lunch options and this could be for back to school or maybe if you just need ideas for lunches at work. They're super simple and quick to make. You can make them the night before or the morning of. So I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching and let me know if you have any other questions or if you want me to keep doing healthy videos like this because I know that a lot of people really love the health videos and just like food ideas so let me know in the comments below and make sure you like and subscribe and follow all of my networks First what you want to do is pull out the excess cucumber that you won't be using so I'm just achieving this using a melon baller and pulling it out setting it to the side. <laughs> Next I'm going to pull out my tuna, mash it up, and combine it with the scallions, celery, Greek yogurt, and lemon juice. And I find that Greek yogurt is a really great substitute for mayonnaise or sour cream just because it has rich flavor but not as much calories or fat. And I'm squeezing a little bit of lemon juice on there to give it a really refreshing taste. Combining everything together and placing it into my cucumber cups. You can also add some pepper or whatever type of seasoning you like. Maybe some Mrs. Dash, which is salt free and that's great too. It's also really healthy. So now I'm just ready to plate everything up and I love these containers because everything is portioned out for me already and they're simple to grab and go. So I'm just putting a little bit of Greek yogurt in here as a side and some fresh fruit. You could use whatever fruit you want. I'm just using strawberries. I'm really loving these cinnamon oat clusters by Kind and they go great with strawberries and Greek yogurt so I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit on there to make it taste really yummy with my strawberries. <laughs> For the pepperoni pizza, you just want to combine your egg whites with the coconut flour baking powder and mix it all together with a fork and you'll just keep mixing until this turns into kind of like a pasty dough that's really easy for you to work with. Once your dough is combined, turn your stove on to medium high and spray the pan with some cooking spray. And then you want to place the dough onto the pan. It's just kind of like you're making a big tortilla. So you just want to spread it out. I'm just using a fork. <laughs> Next, you just want to flip it over and see how it has a really golden crust. It's super yummy and it's also very healthy. So now you just plate it up and add a little bit of marinara sauce. I'm using about a fourth a cup, spreading it all over the crust. And then you also want to add your toppings here. So I'm just using almond cheese. You could use regular cheese if you eat dairy, but I've been loving almond cheese. And I'm adding some meatless pepperoni. If you eat meat, feel free to add meat or whatever other veggie toppings you like. And microwave for 25 seconds or longer if needed. And now I'm making a yummy snack to go with this. I'm just going to plate up my pepperoni pizza, add a little bit of cut up celery. And what better than 
peanut butter to go with the celery and this peanut butter already has cinnamon and raisins in it yummy <laughs> I made this dish for those that have a little bit of a sweet tooth and the first thing that you want to do is separate your egg whites from the egg yolks and you just do this by cracking the eggs and kind of tossing it back and forth but making sure that you don't drop the egg yolk. And next you want to add your oat flour. Oat flour is made by grinding up oats and then I'm just adding my almond milk here, mixing it together until it's all combined. And now you have your crepe mix. So spray the pan with some cooking spray and drop a little bit onto the pan and flip it. It's kind of like a pancake but a thinner version and this one is healthier. So I just made two crepes here. And what I'm going to do now is add my toppings. You can add whatever you like but I love this cookie spread. Oh my god, I discovered it and I'm in love. <laughs> So just spread that generously and I'm using bananas here. I love bananas and peanut butter together so now I'm just going to roll it up. So now you plate it up into your container and add whatever sides you like. I find that veggies and hummus are my go-to snack, they're really delicious. And I'm really loving this spicy black bean hummus that I found at Fresh Market. It's so good and it's less calories than regular chickpea hummus. Mm -hmm. 